What, What is up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sense. My name is Simon, good heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. All right then, let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a paint splatter effect in Canva. Have you done painting before? Like painting a wall, a project, or anything that you need paints and brushes? I ask you this because when you have done it before, even those people who haven't tried doing it, I know that you knew how messy doing paintings is. Too much paint on the roller ends can result in splatters as you roll it across the wall. No matter how much you try to control the drips and splatters to avoid clutters, there are still drops and splatters that happen and that's normal. The opposite side of it is when unexpectedly these splatters create an abstract look-alike painting, an unexpected work of art. This is why splatter became an abstract painting art. Unlike some other types of visual art, splatter painting celebrates spontaneity, improvisation, and a highly physical approach to making art. So it requires no formal training. In Canva, paint splatter effect is easy to create. How? Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to create a paint splatter effect. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. Get your subject image from photos or uploads. I will get mine from photos by searching the keyword funny people. I'll scroll down to find the image I want to use. And here it is. This one. I like this man's photo but I want a close-up view of him. I will share to you how you can find the same image of this man in different views, angles, and expressions. Hover your mouse in the three dots in the upper right corner of the image thumbnail and scroll down more below until the last detail and you will see view collection. Click it and you will be directed to the collection set brand code with the different photos of this particular image. And here it is, the close-up view of him that I want to use in this design. Splatter art is like a paint art, therefore, I need to make this image textured as a paint. Luckily, Canva has a featured tool of it. I can make it like a painting by using the paint effects in Canva. Using the image, go to Edit Image, scroll down, and look for the paint effects. Here it is. See all? And here are the 11 paint effects choices you can use. In this particular design, I will use the window paint effect. Click it. And then, as you can see, you can adjust the settings by changing the intensity from 0 to 1. You can also change intensity in low, medium, or high. In this image, I tried to see the effects using them all and I come up with the medium settings with one intensity. Meaning, it's up to your preference on how you would like your image to look like. I will resize it, set it aside here, and I'll duplicate this image. Set aside this duplicated one for the meantime for later use. Now, add another page. And what I'll do next, I'm going to insert the image I set aside in a frame. 
here in this blank page, I will get the frame from elements. Go to elements and search for frame. Circle frame, the first one in particular. I will resize it. Position it middle center. And then I will drag the image inside the frame. I will adjust the image inside by clicking the image and drag it from the corners like this. Let's now create the paint splatter effect. I will be needing the paint elements to create the splatter. I will go to elements and search for in the search bar the keyword paint splatter. Go to graphics and too many paint splatter elements will appear in front of your eyes. I will get three of its kinds. The first one is the second element in the list with the keyword untitled. I'll drag it inside the design and I'll set it aside in the corner for the meantime and continue to find the other two elements. I'll scroll down below to look for the second one. And here it is with the keyword red paint splash i'll drag it again inside the design and set it aside it here for the meantime i will search for the third element that i need the last element scroll down again to look for it but it's so hard finding the third element by merely scrolling since i find it already before i will just get it from my starred folder Here it is, the first one, with the keyword Blood Splatter Background 2708. I'll place it inside the design and position it here. Finding keywords is hard and time-consuming and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known in deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day to day designs. Going back, I will use the third element in covering the circle edges. Color the element the same as the background color, which is white. So I'll resize it and place it like in here. I will click the color tile above and change it to white, same as the color background. I'll duplicate it multiple times to cover the whole circle edges. To protect the image and elements from being moved, I will select them all, group them, make it as one, and lock it. I want the head part to be in complete form and still be untouched, so I will be needing now the image I set aside a while ago. Going back to this previous page, I will remove the background of this image by using the background remover. Using the image, go to Edit Image, click on Background Remover. 
If you are a pro version user, you can automatically remove the background under Edit Image. If you are a free version user, you can use a free alternative background remover like Remove.bg. You can find it in the description box below, the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below and that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to the Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. Now that is already background removed, I will drag and place it over the design in the next page. I will align it perfectly. You can also reduce the transparency so that you can see it clearly when you align it perfectly. And let's do the outbound effect by cropping the image from the bottom until the safe part, leaving the head part in the whole form, like this. And lock it. Let's now continue doing the splatter effects by using the second and first elements, the red paint splash and the untitled one. I will spread a multiple of these elements around the image and change the color several times to depends on the color of the portion of the picture where you lay the element. I'll show you how. Color the element by using the color picker. I'll position the first element here. Then I'll color the element using the color picker. Using the element, click the color tile, click the plus sign, click the color picker, and hover your mouse to the color of the image where you lay the element like this. And repeat the process until you are satisfied with the positioning of the splatters. Get focused on what I'm doing and see how I will do the spreading of the splatters. Done! This is now the final look of the design I created using the paint splatter effect in Canva. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this! If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon Goodheart VA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Godsent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.